what is up? Welcome back to the Radiant Rain. I'm Cluster Only, and today we are at the Donald Bradman International Cricket Hall of Flame. Woohoo! I'm really excited to tour through it. in the Bradman Center and here is Donald Bradman he's the best batsman in the world so we're just oh and I have got my grandpa and grandma along my grandpa is a cricket lover right aren't you grandpa Don Don is the ultimate Don of cricket you know yes. and he is very considered to be one of the best batsmen the best ever batsman ever to be born and he has an incredible average of 99.94. Whoa, that's a that's lot. That's an incredible average. That's a lot. That's a lot of average, you know. Yes. And also we have his little house yeah. and his center. And, and that's his statue over there. Him with his back and his padding and his hat. Let's, let's come here. So we'll just uh, check out his house. And also there's... I have been here twice and this is my second time and on that side, as you can see through the window, there is a little sort of like cricket ground so that's where he used to come and practice and his house is nearby. Okay everybody, but before we do all this, let's go inside the museum and check it out. I'm really, really excited for this. So let's go! friends this is the Bradman Museum the Bradman Museum and also known as the International Cricket Hall of Fame is a permanent cultural exhibition dedicated to the game of cricket it is located in the Australian town of Barrel New South Wales the Bradman Museum opened up in 1989 all is devoted to cricketing career of the Australian batsman, sir, Donald Bradman. The International Cricket Hall of Fame is adjacent to Bradman Oval, which was named after him in 1947. And as the Gleb Oval, was where he played many games in his early, early years. There is hardly any person in the world who is very fond of cricket, but did not hear the name of Sir Donald Bradman. Sir Donald Bradman is considered to be the best test player in the world of cricket ever. Sir Donald George Bradman, nicknamed The Don, was an Australian international cricketer, widely acknowledged as the greatest batsman of all time. Sir Donald Bradman had scored 6,996 runs in just 52 test matches to get a test batting average of 99.94, has been cited at, 
as the greatest achievement by any sportsman in any major sport. And then again, thirty-one days 31 by train. days from this this way. So that's the dotted path. So the dotted path started all the way in Perth. In those times, now it is a proper grade. Amazing. Bradman had scored twelve double centuries. 29 centuries and 13 half centuries in t in his test cricket career. But the most shocking thing was that he had hit only six sixes in his test career, while the numbers of fours were 681. Bradman's record of 12 double test centuries could not be broken yet. Although Kumar Sangakkara has scored 11 double centuries, while Virat Kohli and Tendulkar 
have scored six to six double tests centuries each. Don Bradman's high score in test matches was 334 runs, while his high score in first class cricket was 452. Due to these achievements, he was inducted to the ICC's Hall of Fame on November 19, 2009. The Government of Australia recognised the greatness of Sir Donald Bradman and issued postal stamp in his respect. On, the, on August 27, 2008, his birth anniversary of Don Bradman, the government had minted the gold currencies of worth five dollars. Bradman had played his last test match against England on August 14, 1948. In the first innings of this test match, Bradman got out on zero. That is why his average fell down to 99.94. Otherwise, his earlier average was 100. Australia won this test match with an innings and 149 runs. This victory was a splendid farewell for Don Bradman. The young Bradman practiced alone with a cricket stump and a golf ball is part of Australian culture. You will see in this museum a lot of his personal belongings and you will also see his first bat that he used to play with. Bradman retained a preeminent position in the game by acting as an administrator, selector, and a writer for three decades following his retirement. Even after he became reclusive in his declining years, his opinion was highly odd and his status as a national icon was still recognized.
I honestly found it amazing, but he oh, found it insane. The, the museum was incredible. It had uh, absolute archives of uh, Bradman, you know, what he did, what was his childhood about, and how he used to play, how he grew up playing cricket, you know. That was his only love. How he became the best? Yeah, so that's what it is. One should visit Bauro, you know, if he is a love for cricket, you know. So, Grandpa, basically, now that we went into the museum and we're out here, what is this area? Like this is the playing here? field, you know. So, what do they do? That's the cricket field where Bradman often came to practice, you know, and a uh, small stadium, very well packed. And uh, if, if we get a chance, we will love to play out here, you know. Yeah, we could like practice. Yeah. Because honestly, it's very big, spacious. And I think anybody could play cricket here, like how they do in matches. And here's the ground and also here are the little seats. Like that's where they used to sit. And also my grandma's down there looking at the stadium. Aren't you? Yes. Yeah, see right there. <laughs> and here are all the seats with umbrellas. It kind of looks it, familiar. It, it's like a very picturesque you know. It's a picturesque Yeah, like a nice mountain. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of looks cool with those like mountains. And what's this at the back? The oh. back is the clubhouse. The clubhouse. This, this is the clubhouse. I think they have a, a practice uh, pitch. Yeah, the practice yeah. pitch is also there. Very, yeah, very the well kept, you know, very and well. Here's the main ground. Lush oh, green. Yeah. Probably better suited for fast bowling, you know. And it was also made in 1989. It's right yeah. above you, Mom. Yeah. Oh. See ya. Very nice one. Yeah, totally. So now where are we going? We are heading so now to we his are home. Heading to his home, which yeah. is a little bit on that side. And also, guys, I also got a cricket bat and a ball. So, oh, so you and have got a, a, a sort of a practice bat and a ball. Bradman Center. Well, it's not exactly the kookaburra, but something similar to the kookaburra. Like you got in your Christmas present, yeah. we also did a video on that. You so can check that out because this, you got this one. Tomorrow. You got from the Bradman Center. And it's very squishy too. Yeah, it's squishy. Yeah. So now, now start and playing and now start practicing yes. with this. Will you teach bed. me? Yeah, I will. Yes. Okay. And it we, is like a monster. We, we we go out to the Doyle ground. Yeah. And then start practicing. Okay. Yes. Come on. Now let's make a move. Okay. Let's go. We are heading to his home. Good. Yeah. for watching today's video and since you have reached here means you have successfully watched the full video and i hope you enjoyed it this was my first vlog and i was very excited to share this with all of you hope i can do some more vlogs in the future and also just in case you guys didn't know we are also on instagram and we post updates and short videos of our daily activities there so please follow on there on the Radiant Rangs official. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Because it encourages me to make more videos for all of you guys. And if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button. And also share this video with many others. And keep watching our videos and see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh,